As the old saying goes, there's more than one way to skin a cat. What about skinning a human? It turns out that in the ancient world, there were quite a few ways to execute condemned men and women. Here, we look at ten of the most merciless execution methods in history. Number 10. Crucifixion. Starting off this macabre list is crucifixion. This was practiced both in the ancient world and as recently as the 20th century. It was first introduced by the Assyrians and Babylonians, followed by the Persians, Alexander the Great, and the Phoenicians, who initiated it in Rome in the 3rd century BC. Crucifixion involved being tied or nailed to a wooden beam or cross. Nails were pierced through the bones below the wrists to bear the weight of the person. It was a brilliant placement because no major blood vessels were hit, only the median nerve which would cause the fingers to seize and the hands to flex down in an excruciating contracture. The feet were nailed by the vertical part of the cross, and once the legs weakened, the arms had to hold up the body, resulting in the shoulders being pulled from their sockets. The elbows and wrists would soon follow, with the arms now several inches longer. At this point, the chest had to bear the body's weight, triggering respiratory problems and eventual suffocation. Number 9. Eaten Alive Rat torture is right up there when it comes to one of the worst ways to go. The thing about rats is that they eat through anything. Thus, it comes as no great surprise that humans made a torture device out of them in the ancient world. Typically, a rat was placed inside a small cage positioned against the victim's abdomen. The cage was heated from the outside, either by a candle, flaming stick, or hot coals, causing the rat to become agitated. So, how could it escape? By clawing its way into the only available soft surface, human skin. Quite quickly, the rat would gnaw its way into the victim's bowels, eliciting unbearable agony in the process. This technique effectively got information out of prisoners and played on their psyches, adding a psychological element to the torture. Number 8. The Rack, Stretching the Body Another brutally famous torture device in the ancient world was the rack. It involved a table, usually wooden, with axles and levers at both ends. The victim was forced to lie down, after which leather straps and belts bound their wrists and heels. The straps had chains or ropes tied to them, which wound over the axles. One or several torturers would then slowly push the levers, causing the axles to rotate and produce tension in the chains. This caused the straps to dig into the prisoner's skin and gradually stretch their body outwards. The internal physical turmoil that one would have suffered is hard to swallow. Vertebrae expanded, joints, muscles and tendons gave way, posture changed, the ribcage pressurized the lungs, bones shattered. The pain would be near unimaginable. As a bonus for the especially tough, they were placed on spiked axles that stripped the flesh off their back. Number 7. Keel Hauling Dragged under. Coming in at number seven of the worst methods of execution in history is the horrifying ordeal of keel hauling. The term comes from the Dutch word keel hauling, meaning to drag along the keel, which is precisely what this torture method did. The sailor was stripped, tied, and suspended by a rope from the ship's mast, with weights or chains attached to their legs. The rope was looped beneath the ship, and once the sailor was released, they were dragged under the keel. The fatality rate was practically 100%. If the person didn't drown, they suffered severe head trauma from repeatedly smacking against the keel, as well as deep lacerations from the barnacles and other aquatic growth present on the hull. If they survived and were hauled back on board, death would most likely still result from wound infections. Number 6. The Wheel. A Severe Bashing. Next up is a means of torture beyond excruciating. The Wheel also known as the execution wheel, breaking wheel, or Catherine wheel. This commonly used ruthless contraption in the ancient world was reserved for public executions. There are variations on the practice, but generally the prisoner was tied to a large wooden spoked wheel. The goal was not to kill them, but severely mutilate them, with the executioner starting with breaking the leg bones and then working their way up. They would do this via an iron bar, beating the victim to near death, crushing all their bones and bludgeoning them. Once finished, the now ghastly maimed prisoner would be repositioned on the wheel so that their heels came together at the back of their neck. They were left that way to bleed to death. Number 5. Impalement pierced straight through. 
At the halfway point on this list is the grotesquely graphic practice of impalement. Many civilizations and cultures practiced this ancient world form of torture. It involved impaling the victim with a long, sharp, and often greased stake for either capital punishment, to subdue revolts, to reprimand defectors, or wipe out military insubordination in war. This method was done in two ways, longitudinal or transversal. For longitudinal, the person was positioned above the spike, which was inserted part way up their rear privates. As gravity took hold, the spike would run them through, avoiding major organs and exiting through the skin of their shoulder or neck. A person could survive this for several days. For transversal, the stake was instead pierced through the torso, either from front to back or vice versa. Another version of impalement included gaunching, where the victim was thrown onto metal spikes, hooks or rods, and either left on them to die or be tortured further by the executioner. Number four, blood eagle, giving the victim wings. If the six other ancient world ways to die haven't made you squirm yet, welcome to the barbaric practice of the blood eagle. Although it's highly debated whether this torture method was real or just a literary invention, either way, a rather disturbed mind concocted it. The blood eagle ritual was first mentioned in late skaldic poetry. The victim would lie in a prone position and be kept alive as their back was sliced open, their ribs were detached from their spine, and their lungs pulled through the opening to form a pair of bloody wings. It's hard to imagine one staying conscious long enough for this to be completed. Nevertheless, if the Viking sagas are to be trusted, this technique has truly earned its spot as one of the most brutal, painful, and downright terrifying ways to die. Number 3. Molten Gold, Scorched from the Inside Earning its spot at number 3 is the almost unbelievable execution method of drinking molten gold. This was potentially practiced more often than documented, especially on both sides of the Atlantic Oceans, by the Romans and the Spanish Inquisition. The technique is self-explanatory. The victim would be restrained, and their mouth forced open as heated gold was poured down their throat. The result would be severe damage to distal organs and the blistering of the lungs, ultimately leading to immediate death. Number 2. Flaying. Skinned. Alive. This next torture method almost takes the top spot because of its sadistic modus operandi. Flaying, or skinning, was perhaps the most painful of all ancient world execution methods because of its slow process. The victim was first stripped and their hands and feet bound to stop any movement. After this, the executioner would begin peeling away the individual skin with a sharp blade, often starting with the head as this area would inflict the most suffering due to the victim still being conscious. In some instances, Parts of the person's body were even boiled to make the skin softer and easier to remove. There were a few ways one could die from flaying, shock, blood or fluid loss, hypothermia or infection. The time of death could also be anywhere from a few hours to a few days. Although it was considered rare in medieval times, a flayed body was a message, an eloquent canvas on which the punitive of the secular authority may be written. Number 1. The Roman Candle the ancient world's ultimate torture method. Coming in at number one above all other merciless execution methods in history is the Roman candle. Whether it's the execution style itself or the executioner who ordered it, this is bone-chilling on several fronts. History is filled with ruthless and psychopathic figures, and the Roman ruler Nero is one of them. He hated Christians so much that he used them as human candles or torches for his garden parties. First, the victims were tied and nailed to taut stakes. Then, a flammable liquid was poured over them before they were set alight. The fire started at the feet to prolong their suffering. Whether the Christians had rebelled against the state or not, this was a monstrous way to go. It reflects how barbaric punishments were in antiquity, and how they were often born of man's vicious ego and thirst to dominate what he considered a lowlier populace. Although the human mind can be considered a brilliant invention of evolution, this list shows humans are also capable of horrendous imaginations, which are best left at bay. With that said, we hope you found this video interesting. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more such videos in future. Till then, have a great day.